Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through display URLs. I'm going to walk you through how to change them, the benefits of them, and essentially my recommendations for display URLs inside of Google Ads. Now, first off, what is a display URL inside Google? And Google gives us a wonderful little example here of what a display URL actually is. So here is your ad, and then above it, there is the actual final URL, and then after it, there is the actual display URL. So you might see like forward slash fiberglass pools or forward slash HVAC repair. These are examples of display URLs. And essentially, it is just the web address that appears with your ad. You can change them. It's not actually going to send the traffic anywhere different. That's for your final URL. Your final URL actually determines where the traffic is going to go. But the display URL is a nice little customization you can make after your ad to give the appearance that you are more unique than your competition. Now, a lot of people don't actually take the time to change this. And it's really missed inside Google Ads. And every little customization you can make to your ad, even if it's a very tiny anyone makes it look like you care more and it makes it look like you can actually solve the individual's problem who is clicking on this ad slightly more than your competition because you're willing to take that little extra step in time to make your ad a little bit more customizable. Now, how do we go about finding our display URL and changing our display URL inside Google Ads? And what we have to do is click on our campaign. So for this campaign, we're going to select pool installation and then we're going to come over here to the actual ads and extension. And now we have a whole bunch of ads inside of our account. And what we have to do is click on the little pencil icon here and hit edit and a responsive search ad will appear. Now, there are two different URLs here. The one is the actual final URL where we are sending our traffic. I generally recommend sending traffic to a dedicated landing page as these convert best and you'll see the best results when it comes to cost per lead and conversion rates. And generally, you'll make more money using a dedicated landing page than you will with a generalized website and you can make it more customized to the actual person's problem and it makes it more likely for them to convert into a lead. So that's generally why I recommend using dedicated landing pages. But that's final URL. This is where the actual traffic is going to be sent. So wherever you want to send your traffic, put it in the final URL. The next thing is the actual display path. So this is our display URL, also known as the display path. Your actual final URL will appear here. So for this example, title pools are, is our example. Titlepools.ca will appear down here with our ad. As you can see in the example here, titlepools.ca will pop up, but our display URL is the actual part after this. So as you can see, forward slash pool builders, forward slash near me. This is the part we can customize and make it more unique to our customer's problem. And I generally recommend one, changing them out every so often when you're trying new ads, but initially setting them as the actual key keyword in your ad group. So say we're targeting pool builders as an ad group, we could set this to pool builders near me, uh, pool installation near me, pool companies near me, whatever you want to put. Two recommendations I would make is one, try and use as much space as possible. You're giving 15 characters in each forward slash, so try and use as much possible. The bigger your ad is, the more likely it is to be seen and the more likely it is to be clicked on, which which helps improve click-through rate, which help improves ad rank, which help improves quality score, which makes your cost per lead go down, which allows you to get more leads, which just makes for a whole bunch more account success. And my second recommendation, like I said before, generally use the actual keywords people are going to be targeting here. So if you're actually trying to appear for the keyword pool installation, actually use the keyword pool installation in your display path and try to fit it in there nicely and make it look very customized. Now, if you want to change your display path, all you have to do is click on this. We'll use the example of pool installation. It may not fit here. It does not fit here. So we'll do pool installation and we'll put that here. Let's see if we can. Uh, yeah, we can do this. So we can put it as pool installation. Now this isn't using everything. Uh, we could we could put pool company installation or pool fiberglass pool installation. Let's do that. Fiberglass pool installation. And this just makes it a little bit more unique and makes your ad appear more customized. And Google generally gives you a little boost if you take the time to actually fill in all this stuff. So it is very, very valuable to actually take the time to do this. Once we've set our display path to whatever we want, the customer is actually going to see this. As you can see here in our example, this is going to be the mobile form and this is going to be the desktop form. Once we have that set and we're happy with our display URL, also known as the display path, all we have to do is scroll down here to the bottom and hit save add and our display path will be changed. And you'll be able to see it here as titlepools.ca fiberglass pool slash installation. So that's display URLs. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about them, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.